Hello everyone, today I'll be making a peach pecan crisp. The whole reason I decided to make this is because a couple days ago, you know, I went to Andy's orchard and I have a ton of peaches left over, so let's go ahead and make this now. To start, we're going to make our filling for the recipe, and keep in mind I doubled this recipe. So first, we're going to need 10 cups of thinly sliced peaches, and make sure they're peeled as well. And we're going to need half a cup of all-purpose flour, and we're going to need one and a half cups of granulated sugar, along with half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now we're just going to add all of our ingredients to our peaches and toss to combine. Now we're going to go ahead and pour our peaches into our greased baking dish. Now we're going to make our topping. We're going to need one half cups of brown sugar, and we're going to need one and one third cup of rolled oats, and we're also going to need one and one third cup of all-purpose flour, and we're going to need two teaspoons of cinnamon, along with half a teaspoon of salt, and we're going to need one and one half cups of unsalted pecans, chopped and halved, and we're going to need one half cup of unsalted butter, actually just one cup because it's doubled, and we're going to need to make sure it's softened to room temperature. Now we're going to add all of our ingredients to a large bowl, except for our butter. Now we're going to whisk this together. Now we're going to mix in our butter. I just finished breaking up the butter in this topping. First, I used the spatula to get most of the butter combined, and when there were little bits of butter, I switched to a fork, and I finished kind of pressing it in and crumbling it in, so now our mixture is all ready to go in a pan. Now we're gonna sprinkle our topping over the peaches. Now we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes, and as you can see I put our baking dish with our peach crisp in it on top of a baking tray, and this is just to catch any drips that spill over. I just took our peach crisp out of the oven, and that looks absolutely delicious, and I'm going to transfer this to wire rack to cool slightly before I give it a taste. Our crisp has cooled slightly, and it looks and smells so good, so let's give it a taste. Wow guys, that's literally so good. I love the peaches, they're so rich and so juicy. They have a really strong peach flavor and they're not too tart because these peaches are very sweet. I already picked off the tree because they're all tree ripened. So yes, I definitely recommend using Andy's peaches if you make this crisp. And I'm gonna put all of his information in the description down below. And like I said, the top is very good as well. It's very crumbly and very crunchy, and I can really taste all the brown sugar, and it also tastes very buttery, and the pecans also add a nice crunch. It's so delicious. I'd probably have to give this a 9.5 out of 10, so it's definitely something I recommend trying. Remember, if you're making this, you're going to want some really fresh peaches, so I highly suggest supporting your local orchard. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did to give it a like, and also make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.